What is up you guys, it is your boy OGJ here, back again with the weirdest hairstyle ever, but I'm gonna keep it like this for the rest of the day. And yeah guys, um, so basically we're, this is the end of conclusion for the top 10 uh, projects, EPs, mixtapes, whatever of the year guys. So yeah, we're gonna be ending it with the top 10 albums of 2018. So like I said before in my other videos, just because they are top 10, top 3, top 4, whatever, that doesn't mean that they're bad. So, also guys, this is my personal opinion, so yeah guys, well, let's get started. So I gotta give a big shout out to the Jay-Z and Beyonce collab project, I've seen as well, which is a kind of return to form for both of them. Beyonce brings a killer verse on Ape Shit, as well as uh, Black Effect. And some of my favorite tracks on here are uh, Summer, which is, it has a really smooth soul type sound, R&B sound to it, uh, Ape Shit, Friends, Black Effect, and Love Happy, or Jackie, I don't know, it's kind of how I spelled it, so yeah. Also guys, shout out to this underrated artist that I believe, uh, Saba, Care For Me, which is actually a, a good album, like it has some story driven to it, uh, some of my favorite tracks are, uh, Busy, Sirens, Broken, which talks about him falling in love with the girl who's like depressed or whatever. Uh, Fighter, Smile, Log Out, and Gray. King, I believe it's called, which he's describing the story in his high school. So yeah, definitely an underrated artist. Definitely give him a, give him a listen in 2018 or 2019 if it comes out with a project. So yeah. Also guys, Taboo by David Curry. This is one of the most, um, most variety of albums. Denzel Curry brings a lot of, you know, a lot of uh, punk to it, not punk rock. He brings a lot of, you know, emo type sounds, some story driven sounds. Uh, some of my favorite songs are Cloud Cobain, Sumo, Taboo, Black Balloon featuring 1211, 11 and Goldwing, um, Super Saiyan, Superman, Switch It Up, Mad I Got It, and Sirens featuring J.I.D. Shout out to the new The Carter Five project by Lil Wayne. This is, he hasn't been he hasn't put an album out since 2013, so it's definitely worth the wait because he does bring some killer flows, some killer verses, uh, very good hooks. Um, some of my favorite tracks are "Don't Cry" featuring XXX and the Uh "Dedicate," "Uproar," "Let It Fly" featuring Travis Scott. Really great. Can't be broken, which has a good, uh, well, a good sample, which I don't know what this word samples from, but I hope I can find it out. Mona Lisa featuring Kendrick Lamar, which does sound, which is a story-driven album or song, which I do like. What about me featuring Sosa Man, I believe. Famous featuring Regina Carter and Problems, so that's good. Also, guys, I have to put it on this list. Astro World by Travis Goddamn Scott. This is one of the greatest, if not the best, album in the last five years. Like, Travis Scott brings so many hooks, so many good flows, so many good songs, so many, you know, very sampled beats, very different artists that nobody even knew about. Well, some did. Um, for example, some of my favorite tracks are Stargazing, Carousel, featuring, uh, Frank Ocean, Sicko Mode, featuring Drake and Sway Lee, I believe someone else, but I can't remember, Stop Trying to Be God, which is a story-type driven song, No Bystanders, featuring Ju Juice World and Shaq West from Obama, Wake Up, featuring The Weeknd, really, really freaking nice, uh, contrast between The Weeknd and Travis Scott, Yosemite featuring Gunna and Nav. To be quite honest with you, Nav shouldn't even be on the album. Uh, can't can't say featuring Don Tolliver, which you saw that was honorable albums. So yeah, uh, Butterfly Effect and Coffee Bean. Shout out to DiCaprio Two by JID. DiCaprio Two by JID. So yeah, this is again one of the great, one of the good albums this year. Very infectious hook. Fast Rapping by Mr. J Jid himself. Some of my favorite tracks are Slick Talk, Westbrook featuring ASAP Ferg, Off D's with fellow 
Dreamville member uh, J. Cole, 150 Rum, off, off Zoinkies, Tide, featuring Black and Elon May, uh, Strawberries, featuring BJ the Chicago, Chicago Kid, and Hot Box, featuring Method Man and a bot man himself, Joey Badass, which I hope he comes out with a project next year. Also, I'm gonna give a shout out to this underrated artist who, uh, Room 25 by No Name, and that is their name, No Name. So yeah, it's kind of like an R&B type of rap type situation, kind of a blend of both. Uh, some of my favorite tracks are Prayer Song, Widow featuring Felix, or Felix, I don't know. It's not PewDiePie. Don't forget, Mantic will be Ace featuring Simi Mount Saba, which was on my uh, album list, if you remember earlier. Part of Me featuring Felix, With You, No Name, featuring Yaw and Adam Ness. Also guys, I have to put it on this list, The Black Panther, the album, and Inspired by, by TDE. Now this is all around great hits. Some of them are misses, but most of them are hits. For example, the uh, my favorite track is Black Panther, was Kendrick was Kendrick Lamar X was Seti and Schoolboy Q and Two Chains, Ops was Ben Staples and featuring You and Black Rock, Paramedic S O B R D E Bloody Waters Absol, and featuring Anderson Pock and James Blake, which the James Blake comes in with a great transition. Uh, Anderson Pock brings a nice uh, tuck. And, and, and Apostle comes with a great verse. Um, King's Dead uh, was J Rock and Kendrick Lamar were featuring, featuring James Blake. Seasons was Mozzie featuring, featuring, I hope, I'm sorry if I butcher this, uh, Sid Java and Reason. Big Shot was Kendrick Lamar and Travis Scott. And Pray For Me was The Weeknd. And also All the Stars. And I forgot that song was George Smith, but that's really good. Next up, guys. Next up, guys. Take Daytona by Mr. Uh, Pusha T himself, the Drake Killer, as I like to call him. But yeah, this is this is one of the shortest album, but it comes with a really, but it comes packaged really good. Like he he his raps are really good. If he went to a toe to toe with. Let's say, let's say Kendrick Lamar and Pusha T. Pusha T would probably win by a little bit, but Kendrick Lamar could probably beat him. But that's just my opinion. So, some of my favorite tracks are the games we play, Hard Piano featuring Kid, uh, Rick Ross, What Would Meek Do featuring Kanye West and Infrared, which is the infamous Drake diss, but not the famous one like uh, the story of Added On. Yay by Kanye West. Now, Kanye hasn't had a really good year this year. He's got like um. How would I like to say bad year? <laughs> but I still like Kanye West to this day. I don't care what he does or whatever. Some of my favorite tracks on here are I Thought About Killing You, Yikes, All Mine, featuring Ty Dolla Sign, Wouldn't Leave, Ghost Town, and Violent Crimes. Uh, next up, guys, we got K KOD or COD by J. Cole. Now, this is, again, really good lengthy track. It gives a little bit of a you know, a mask over it. Some of my favorite tracks are KOD, the title track, the photograph, the cutoff, ATM, or Addicted to Money, um, Motivate, Kevin's Heart, Window Pain, 1985, Intro to the Fall Off. So, guys, second to last is Nausea by Nas. This is a return to form from Nas. I believe he also didn't drop an album since 2013. So, yeah. Some of my favorite tracks are Cop Shot the Kid featuring Kanye West, which has a really good sample in the beginning and during the entire track. Uh, White Label, Bonjour featuring Tony Williams. Everything featuring The Dream and Kanye West. Adam and Eve featuring The Dream and Simple Things. Next up, guys, the last song on here is Kamikaze by Eminem. Now, Eminem was pretty mad over his revival album so he came back hidden he came back swinging in kamikaze which translates to suicide bomb so yeah some of my favorite and he goes and he doesn't waste any time taking shots at these at these new age rappers my favorite tracks are the ringer the uh, greatest lucky you if you enjoy our lucas best song on the project my opinion normal 
stepping stone, not like featuring the rights to 5 9 and I love his little oppression of Mikos from Bad and Bougie, <laughs> really funny. Uh, Kamikaze, Fall, a nice guy featuring Jesse Reyes. I know people say it's not good, but it's my opinion. And good guy featuring Jesse Reyes. So yeah guys, that is it for the video. If you do like the video, guys, please give a like, subscribe, please comment, make sure you turn the notification button and miss this video. And yeah guys, I'll see you guys later.